Good evening, and welcome to the latest chapter of Megan Wants a Millionaire. I'm Niles, concierge and narrator. In our previous passage, young Megan sought action. I am looking for my own James Bond. They call me Double O Dave. What are you doing? He's quitting my challenge. I'm not a quit. And she sought gifts. I'm thinking shopping might be for another day. I got you your own special balls. Al is such a geek. This guy has no game. But all she got was tall tales. I got a penis implant. You want to see it? And credits on the client. And business plans lacking romance. Well, I have, a, you know, a business angle. It's really good marketing. Your credit has been declined. David, yesterday was very rough for you. You need some more time to think about it. Here's your card. And Double O Dave was... It was a new day, rich with promise for our millionaires. But Double O Dave was keenly aware that he was on thin ice. I wake up this morning, there's eight guys left in the house. I'm not feeling really good. I don't think Megan's over this challenge that I, that I gave up on. What's wrong? It's cold. This is a race, David. Yeah, I know it is. And I really got to do something to get myself back in position. We all come from different walks of lives. We all have our ladies in our lives. We acquire them, maintain them, and carry on in a different way. And I know you've had hundreds of one night stands. Hell yeah, man. But is it all about what's here? It's very big, man. Without sexual compatibility, I'm gonna start looking for something that works. What buddies like to do this show? You'll be picking up tail left and right. I couldn't decide what was worse, telling your competition you're using the show to score chicks or telling your competition you've been with hundreds of women. But it was time to get to today's challenge, so I summoned our millionaires. Gentlemen, Miss Megan awaits you in the Great Hall. So we all walk in the living room and I see that uh, this is basically turned into a theater. I don't know what to think. I'm kind of just excited and wondering what's going to happen. Hi, millionaires. Hello, Hi, millionaires. Hi, millionaires. I'm going to assign each of you a fellow millionaire to impersonate. <laughs> you will have to come up with a brief monologue of who you think that other millionaire really is. I think impersonations are going to be really fun. I want to see who's going to show me their fun side and their competitive sides. Then, I will interview you using questions you will write to expose any dirt you think I should know. Plus some of my own questions. I think my millionaires are good boys when they're around me, but I want to find out what they're saying when I'm not around. I will be awarding two dates for this challenge. One date will go to the best actor on stage, and the second date will go to the person who I feel is the most honest with me. At this point, for me, personally, the pressure's on. I haven't had a personal date with Megan. I haven't spent that time with her, and I really need to do whatever I can do to get that personal time. Niles, would you please? <laughs> <laughs> now snatches the blanket, and I see the little faces. This is going to be fun, man. This was a challenge I was most looking forward to. With all the dirt our millionaires had on each other, there were sure to be fireworks. Let's assign characters. Let's see, who should play Big Mike? Corey. Get a lot of character Your with that face, one. Sir. Next mask was David. Punisher. Punisher is going to imitate me. He knows little things about me, but he doesn't know me deeply, so I'm not even worried about it. Something tells me you should be concerned, Mr. Dave. TJ. Big Mike, Punisher, Francisco, and Al. Niles, please give the mask to Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Who should play Ryan? David, Francisco, TJ. And that means Al, you will be playing Corey. You have one hour to prepare, so good luck. And I'll see you boys in a little bit. We get to put these questions out there. Now it's time for the dirt to get 
chão. With the masks distributed and the parlor game explained, it was time for our millionaires to find their inner Shakespeare, or at least their inner Don Rickles. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be mean. <laughs> it's good though. I don't like Al, so this is perfect. He is gonna be so hurting after this, I'm gonna create an enemy for life. Say it to my face. You're a <laughs> Here, say it. I have a load of material on this guy. Be yeah. nice. You got it. <laughs> be funny, but be nice. I'll be nice. Just I've never been in such a nice house with so many beautiful men before. It's just making me feel so funny inside. I'm out. Ryan gets to play me, and I'm not feeling good about this. He's like the little kid that sits on the bus right behind the bus driver and makes faces at you. I'm gonna have problems with him. Coming up, award winning acting. I'm just shallow and insecure. I am a complete nutter moron. I am done with Ryan. This was the last straw. And later, Al and his pecs are up in arms. You wanna start? I will put you on the ground. Don't with me. You fight dirty. Gentlemen, please make your way to the stage for the grand opening of Megan Peace Theatre. Today's acting challenge was about to commence. Act one would consist of impersonations, followed by act two, where our millionaires would face potentially embarrassing questions written by each other. Ryan, please come up on stage. Now, you are in character today. So the person playing Ryan, not the real Ryan, Ryan. Oh. Careful. <laughs> I'm a little concerned going into this challenge. Megan thinks I'm a quitter. I gotta do something today to pull myself out of this. Hello, Megan. It's Ryan. I know you think I'm arrogant, but honestly, I'm just shallow and insecure. <laughs> Dave calls out Ryan for being insecure. I am so glad I'm not the only one that sees that. So let's stop playing games. Eliminate everybody so we can move on with our lives. Bravo. Wow, he actually completed his challenge. I guess this time it wasn't too cold. Big Mike, please come up to the stage. Right now I'm doing Mike, I'm getting into his shoes. I've got, you know, his little Brutus teddy bear in my arm and I'm really feeling it. Well, if you just don't know me, they call me Big Mike. You know, I, I know some people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna name names. <laughs> now this is more like it. Corey does have a fun side to him, but I wish I could say the same about everyone else. It's not noon yet. I don't get out of bed for less than $50,000. Yo, my name is Sheree, but you can call me Punisher. My name's Francisco. I'm half Cuban, and I'm half Puerto Rican. Hi, I'm TJ. I own a company called Johnny Love Vodka. I know you love vodka. Clearly, none of our millionaires had studied at the actor's studio, but something told me Mr. Ryan's impression of Al would be rather pointed. So it's my turn. I figure this is my chance to shine. I've got the voice down. I'm ready to do this. Al's going down. Megan, I hope you enjoy your spa treatments. It's at a leading surgical clinic and just so happens to be the same place I got my pectoral implants. <laughs> my mama says I'm pretty. I think I'm pretty too. But mostly I'd just like to have you as a trophy wife to play house with. It's been a long time since I've been able to play with dolls and I can't wait to buy you clothes which I can make you dress up and look pretty with. <laughs> I'm nailing Al to the wall as I'm doing this impression impersonation. I'm thinking, oh, this guy, he's gonna be hurting after this. Well, I think it's very manly to buy your woman a gift. And that's what I'm real good at. <laughs> <laughs> I am a complete nutter moron. Megan would not like me unless I spend at least 10,000 a day. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Good job. They say impersonation is the highest form of flattery, but Al didn't concur. Thank you. At this point, I am done with Ryan. This was the last straw. 
I haven't been this mad at somebody in years. That leaves us with David. I haven't won a challenge, so I have to win this challenge, or I may be on the chopping block. How you doing, Megan, honey bunny, <laughs> Suzy Wuzzy? Uh, by the way, I'm uh, Double O Dave. I've died in the Great Lakes. I'm, I mean, that's just my passion. But if it's a little choppy in the kiddie pool, I ain't getting in. Y'all can all kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I have a luxurious loft in downtown Dallas, and my flat screen gets six inches bigger every time I tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did great on this challenge, man. The guys were falling out their chairs laughing, so I'm psyched and I want to win. Yeah! Yeah, yeah boy! <laughs> Punisher had his competitors in stitches, but would he be Megan's favorite? I have read the questions that you have wrote for each other, and I'm very interested to hear the answers to them. Let's see, where should we start? The show must go on, and Megan was armed with anonymous questions written by our millionaires. But which answers would prove to be honest? Corey, are you the right man for me, given the fact that you own a strip club and are surrounded by naked women all day? Corey owns a strip club? Am I the right man for you? Well, that's up for you to decide. Um, an insecure girl would not be the right girl for me, but I understand how secure you are, and I know that that wouldn't become an issue for you. I hope Megan sees it for what it is. I think I answered all of Megan's questions very straightforward and very quickly. The truth is the truth. Quickly? It's episode five, Corey. Ryan, you're obviously a successful businessman. What is your net worth? Ryan? Sorry, what was the question? What is your net worth? Um. I do hope he answers sometime today. Um. Like, I don't want to put, like, numbers out to... I think I'm very successful when I put my mind to something. What does that mean? When I do something 100%. It usually works out in my favor. I'm looking for honesty, and all Ryan's doing is avoiding my question. Not a good question to be avoiding. Next up, Al, I have some questions for you. I figured there'd be dirt, but I'm surprised at some of the things I'm hearing, like tactics with women. You've given gifts such as boobs just to get in bed with a woman. Boobs? As a gift? Your answer? Give her what she wants. Past relationships? Francisco, you have a failed marriage. Uh, just because we're not together anymore doesn't mean he failed. By that definition, the Titanic was a successful voyage. Okay. How many women they've slept with? 500 plus? Is that accurate? Um, do I actually know? I don't. Criminal backgrounds? Real Mike? Fresh out of prison. I've learned not to go back. I feel like I should have heard some of this stuff sooner. Real TJ? Are you a workaholic? I work and I play. Um, when, you know, if, if you were around all day, that computer wouldn't open. And uh, if you're not around, I'm gonna take care of business. I love that, good answer. So the most dirt these guys could dig up on TJ is that he's a workaholic? Doesn't seem so bad. David, have you been bragging about all the sex you're going to be having once the show starts airing? Boy, should I have kept that to myself, that damn Punisher. I would say that, uh, that yeah, I have. Um, you know, if it comes my way, I'm not gonna say no. Wow. Dave, you, how do you admit that you're on a buns hunt to a chick you're trying to get with? Words of wisdom, Punisher. Words of wisdom. Do you think that we're not gonna end up together? If I end up being the one, I don't have any other relationships. And otherwise, you're gonna take everything that comes your way. You're damn right. What? Is David here for me, or is he just here to pimp himself out on national television? I do appreciate honesty, but he's just being a jerk. I was truthful and very honest with her, but at this point, I don't know if there's any hope left. Before I go any further, Niles, come in here, please. So with our millionaires revealed to be quite the rogues gallery after some tough questioning, it was time for Megan to reveal the victors of Megan Peace Theatre. 
the one that seemed to be most genuine and honest was TJ. Come on up here. I'm really glad that Megan saw that I was being honest and it feels great to win this challenge. I'm so looking forward to getting some personal time with Megan finally and uh, to really let her see a little bit more inside my world. For the category of best actor, the winner is Punisher. Uh, Come up here. When I win for the best actor, I'm like, yes, finally. Like, I'm in the books. You know, I told you I, I had to win. Punisher's impression of David was great, but that doesn't mean that I'm not concerned about the 500 plus women he's slept with. As you should be, Megan. As you should be. I can't give you this entire award, though. Because I have decided that it's a tie. This award also goes to Corey. I was actually surprised. I wasn't expecting to be one of the best actors. I thought I did a great job, but it was really nice to be picked. TJ, you and I are going to my favorite restaurant tonight, Punisher and Corey. I have planned an incredible marina date for us tomorrow. I think Megan is getting the wrong impression of who I am. Tomorrow night, I'm probably going home at elimination. Thank you all so much. You all did really good today. I enjoyed it. I'll see you boys later. The challenge was over, but competition continued in Ryan and Al's suite. I'm a bit of a but You are, you, no, not a bit. You're like a major I am so pissed off. So of course I'm gonna start eating away at him. Pointing out his weaknesses, pointing out his flaws. I'm gonna point you out. I mean, I mean, what are those? Size six shoes? How do you balance on those things? I mean, your must be this big. So Al's wanting to fight? Whatever, bro. Anybody? Just stop here. All right. With your size six shoes, okay? <laughs> you fight dirty, man. Don't f with me. I will f put you in the ground. Al's got no backbone, so I'm ready to start slogging fishes. <laughs> All right, you want to start? F I can make you feel about this small. Coming up. Writing's on the wall, bro. What's the problem? When you have a losing stock, you dump it. I want to leave before I get eliminated. Play the game, man. And later. Control yourself. Ryan and Al's duel comes to a shirtless conclusion. I wish I could just strangle him. He's just losing it. Romantic dates were won, and as a proper concierge, I was available to Megan's suitors with extravagant upgrades for a premium. I've got my date tonight. I mean, this is a great opportunity for us to really go out and enjoy ourselves. Now, you're going to one of Beverly Hills' most exclusive hot spots, and that is Mastro Steakhouse. Uh, and boy, oh boy, what a day this is going to be. You have a private area set aside. So here are the options that I can help you out with. And, of course, Miss Megan loves traveling in style. I can have a Rolls-Royce Phantom to show for you to the restaurant, and that is available for $1,500, and this absolutely divine Star Charm bracelet for $248. So the Rolls-Royce is $1,500, okay. and the bracelet $248. They're completely optional. I mean, absolutely. This is the first chance that I get to spend some time with Megan. It needs to be a special night, and uh, arriving in style and, and having a little gift for it is really important for me. Thank you. Um, oh, that's for you, my man. Thank you very Listen, much. That's you. very generous. TJ's tip was much appreciated, and I had a tip for him, too. Don't wear that hat on your date. If, when you're there, you would like to take advantage of an extremely extensive, shall we say, uh, wine and champagne selection, then, of course, sure. you're welcome to do so and take care of that okay. actually on site. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening and uh, knock them dead, as they say. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All Good right. night, sir. Meanwhile, Al decided to relieve stress by showing his domestic side. I didn't win the challenge, and I'm a little disappointed. I'm thinking I have to do something, so I decide to make her my signature redneck cake. You're gonna make a pie? It's only one thing in cake mix. And he's putting two cans in there. It's not even gonna look like cake. You wanna take over? You're so sensitive. 
Al is just a dweeby little wimp. I don't know why he's here. Megan's totally not into him. I'm just gonna let you be an ass if you wanna be an ass. Okay, do you want me to just not even speak in your direction at all? And like no, pretend but you don't, don't exist? Be <laughs> all right. Ryan's still running his mouth. It's falling on deaf ears. I just, I'm done. Pull it out of there. <laughs> that doesn't look like, even when it cools, that it would be edible. Well, he never mixed it, right? He just put the So Al decides to leave the cake in the oven. I figure, why don't we check on it? Al's not around. Cake mix didn't even mix. It's like, yeah, that's a little better. That's how it's supposed to look. Yeah, you gotta mix it. I'm just trying to help the guy out. I figured it's not working. I'm gonna stir it up for him. It's gonna taste better. Al is gonna be pissed, but I'm enjoying every minute of it. With Ryan potentially stirring up a hornet's nest, TJ greeted Megan for their enchanted date. TJ. Megan comes down the stairs in this beautiful dress and she looks fantastic as always. And all I can think of is how lucky I am to have the date tonight. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, Megan, come on. You know, oh my this gosh, is comfortable for TJ. you. Oh my gosh, TJ. I love yeah. it. So happy to see the Rolls Royce a smash hit with Megan. Good call, Mr. TJ. Cheers to a beautiful Cheers. dinner. More beautiful girl. Finally getting to spend some time together. Thank you. Special treat. Thanks. I want to make everything go perfectly. I'm nervous, but I'm more excited than anything. Getting pretty nice. Thank you. Are you getting done? I did have a manicure this weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to do nails. Oh, yeah? In Boca? In Boca, mm -hmm. when I was 16, I um, started going to college. Mm -hmm. Did you put yourself through school? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I don't know how you do it. It was a lot of work. Yeah. Megan and I have these little moments where her shell is coming down a little bit, and it was nice seeing that side of her. With Megan coming out of her shell, what was Double O Dave doing in the closet? Yeah, it's time for me. Decisions made, brother. At this point, I think Megan thinks that I'm nothing more than just an opportunist. I have lost enough challenges, and I'm not recovering from them the way I expect to, and I want to cut my losses and get out. Hey, Double O, you ain't, you ain't thinking about bailing early, are you? Yeah, I am. Why? 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 Why would you do that? Writing's on the wall, bro. You gotta have instincts, don't you? He wants to just go out quitting instead of being eliminated. He's being arrogant again, and I think he's just scared. We got credit for honesty, and you're about as honest as can be. Yeah. You know? So, like, what's the problem? Come on. The guys encouraged me to stay in the house. I'm thinking I am truly a classy, well put together, very well balanced guy. Maybe she might keep me around for a little bit longer. Whilst Double O Dave found a backbone, Megan found the most expensive thing on the menu. One of my favorite champagnes is on here. What is that? That's easy, though. The Cru Cuvée. The Cuvée, very nice. You yeah. will enjoy it. Good. Good. Cheers. 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 Getting to know you even better. I always imagine like the perfect American family, right. you know, marriage, kids, yes. two and a half kids, right? Why do you think you yeah. haven't been married yet? Just I met the right girl. There was always something missing. I'm looking for a, someone that compliments me A to Z. The biggest thing is I have no expectations. You just, just want to be happy. Yeah, just want to be happy and um, they take it one day at a time. Well, I definitely have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised. Really? We really didn't get good. a lot of time to spend together, and now that I have, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm glad you are. I'm glad. So do you really feel like like I could fit into your lifestyle? I think everything about you would fit into my lifestyle. Good answer. <laughs> TJ isn't as flashy as the other guys in the house, so maybe I haven't been paying enough attention to him. But this guy could be just what I'm looking for. Sensing that he had Megan just where he wanted her, TJ went in for the kill. I thought that this was something that you may have liked. Oh my god! I hope you wear it. <laughs> oh, I love it! It's a star. A star I love for a star. it. This is 
definitely everything that I would have hoped for on, on a first time with her. It couldn't have, couldn't have been any better. Megan had finally discovered a connection with TJ, but back at the mansion, Al was about to discover the state of his cake. I set the timer, and I come back downstairs when the cake is supposed to be done. Shh, Al's back. Al, just so you know, I, 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 I don't even want to talk to you. Somebody with it. You feel better with it? I want to just kill him. It's all the same on the way out. You want to touch it? Did you with my You with my Be careful what you with, OK? Who mixed up my cake? This is redneck pie. It's supposed to be golden brown on top. When a man taunts another man with an oven mitt, a certain line has been crossed. He's not happy. You're such a big guy, and you're going to all my You're going to with everything I do. Just go outside and settle this like gentlemen. He's just losing it. Oh, here we go. I can control every part of I my body. I can control everything, too. Control yourself and not get physical with me. I'm not going to get physical. I don't because that will not you. turn out well for you. Oh, man, what did I do? Uh, oh, that was fair. <laughs> I think we're even. Ryan, he's starting to cross the line with some guys, and, uh, he better be real careful around my line, because he doesn't want any problems from me. Ooh. Back up, fella. Come on, Al, take it Back easy, up, brother. Al, take it easy. Come on, man. Don't we got to be in separate rooms, I'm sorry. Because if I sleep next to him, you're going to wake up in the middle of the night, and I'm going to be on you. Well, I'll keep my <laughs> puckered. Coming up. If you would like to move the date from the land with this 70-foot luxury yacht. I don't need to go and buy this girl something to show her that care. And later. Why to me? Do you have any explanation? Now it's time to battle it out at the dinner table. It's a gorgeous new day, and for Corey and Punisher, a romantic date with Megan awaited them. What a fantastic day we have already planned for you. Uh, you will be traveling to Marina del Rey, where you will have an incredible lunch for three, overlooking the yachts. If you would like to move the date from the land onto the water, then you are welcome to with this 70-foot luxury yacht. As always, I like to remind you this is completely optional, but